Here we will travel in EV auto mode and run all of the battery out and then use the hybrid system. Here you can see we have a 21.6 miles on the electricity to travel and uh, if we didn't use the heat we'd have about 24.1 it estimates anyway. I did have to get out of the car and do a couple errands here and there. I try to speed that up as much as possible. Usually I use about eight times uh, speed here. I used uh, 40 and 50 to speed it up a little more. Just a couple more seconds here and we'll be driving again. that I did forget to put it in EV auto mode but uh, doing this trip many times in EV auto uh, it doesn't actually even use the engine at this point anyway Okay, here we see the engine kicking on. It usually kicks on around using over 30 kilowatts of electricity. Uh, it will let you get over that but as high as like 38 without it coming on if it's brief. And I think it also has to do with the state of charge, uh, how much battery power is left. But now that the engine is turned on, it will have to stay on until it warms up all the way. There we go, now the engine is warmed up and the uh, engine is turned off. It'll only be off for about 50 seconds of driving and then it's needed again because we go above that 30 kilowatt fresh threshold. Pretty much for the rest of the portion of this trip on the highway, it's gonna the engine will remain on because we're going over seven or about 70 miles an hour and uh, it's a little uphill, so hard for it to think that EV would be more efficient. <laughs> Thank you.
So now we're out of electricity. We can get about 103 miles to the gallon so far. And it's all downhill from here. So it'll all be fuel. And using the engine, it's not very possible to get over 103. So we'll see what we end up with. So there we go, we ended up with a 97.6 on a 39 mile trip using EV Auto with a full charge until it drains and then letting it do its hybrid mode. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, comment if you got any questions. Have fun.